All right, welcome, welcome. So it's been a while since I've played a, a good chess game. I've been doing a lot of chess puzzles lately. And I saw chess.com, came out with a new ro robot in the athletic department, rated 1575. So I thought I would give it a go and hit record and see what happens. So let's do exactly that. Um, All right. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, I um I'm messing up this, this is, this is not going in my favor. I'm not doing very well with this opening. <laughs> I was wanting to go here. Um, yeah, that's not going to happen now. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm really not doing very well in this opening. No, usually you don't want to give your opponent what they want, and there I just did. Um, so if it takes, here's what I want to do, and then if the queen takes though, so you want to go here and then here for this beautiful fork. Remember my rule of fork, fork me, fork you. Hey, I'm wearing my Hulk Hogan shirt, if anybody cares. Very kicking it old school. I was a Hulkamaniac. I guess I still am. Um, yeah, there's a... If the queen comes here... F6, I can't. Let me see. Ooh. Got the pieces lined up. That's not good. Oh, I was really expecting that, but okay. Now here, this, gee, this almost always happens, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's even worse. Okay. Well, I have got my opponent has their pieces lined up, which is not good for me. So I've I've got to I've got to deal with it. Uh, again, pieces lined up. My opponent is doing a fantastic job of lining up pieces. Okay, so. could do a queen exchange. Yeah, and then maybe I could do this. This fork right here. We were just talking about my rule of fork. Fork me, fork you. Let's see if the computer falls for it. Was this 1575? I don't know. That, and now can I do my wonderful fork? No, <laughs> oh man. <sighs> I wanted to come here and fork. Why won't you let me fork you? Jerk. All right. Hmm. Can I say that? 
Can I say that on YouTube? I didn't even mean for it to sound like it did. Let's see. Okay, so wait a minute. I think I just said, why won't you let me fork you? Didn't mean to offend anybody. Um, so light squared bishop is left. So I'm going to note to self, stay off the light squares. E-file is open. So I'm going to try to own it with a major piece. And so I'm just going to push the C pawn. And now I've got another major piece that's just sitting here, not even in the game. So let's see if we can get this in the game. And, uh, oh boy. Um, my knight defends that, so. I want to come here. You know, if it moves, I get a free bishop. So if it takes, then I put my knight here. But then this pawn is up for grabs. So I can't do that. So now let's try this. You want to take my knight? Go ahead, and I'll take your rook. Um, can I no that was a pretty good defense hmm And I have a little dog taking a nap down by my leg and all. Maybe I'll show him at the end of the video. Um, okay. I don't like it. But... Okay, so here, the age-old question that has plagued mankind for many old lifetimes is, in the end game, is it better to have a bishop or a knight? Well, in my opinion, if there's lots of, if the board is peppered with pawn, then it's best to have the knight. If there's not a whole lot of pawns, it's best to have the bishop. And I've heard grandmasters say that, and so, and I'm no grandmaster by any means. But I'm going to uh, take this bishop because it takes back, then I get to take the pawn. So now I have a pawn storm. But here's the thing, and this is like the thing. My king doesn't get to just hang out. It has to go to work. I've got to get my king in the you know, towards the middle of the board. I've got to get it working. And, um, it's, uh, it's got to go to work, it being the king. Um, it can't just hang out and watch the game. You know, that would be cool. I get it. But it cannot, um, do such a thing. All right, so now I got a pawn storm. Um, let's do this. We'll cut off the king. And now we will try to promote. Um, my opponent's king can't be everywhere, so. But usually, all things being equal, you want a major piece under a minor piece, so then you promote it, um, is usually how it works. Um, I don't want to... No, we'll just do this. And... One of these pawns is going to have to promote. 
Yeah, I'm just going to do Marching Pawn right over here. Marching Pawn are difficult to stop, for sure. Um, yeah. Of course, now I did free up the, the, uh, oops, the, uh, the king to move. Um, yeah, I'm not excited about it, but let's, let's, uh, let's practice what I preach here. Um, we're going to march these pawns. We're going to march these pawn right out of here. And um, maybe I'm feeling too confident, you know, now. And it's like, uh oh, then that's when you get into, uh, dare I say, trouble. So, proper play, should be able to close this out. The end game, you just want to make a box for your opponent, smaller and smaller. Of course, they'll try for a stalemate. you got to be careful of that. And so, let's see how I did. Um, let me review this game. Right after this swig of coffee. Ah, that's good stuff. Game review, and I realize my recording is probably in the way, so I'll just yell out the stats. Said that um, Joseph, is in there, right? Joseph, yeah, played at a 77.9. I played at an 82.3. Um, okay, okay. So, um, Let's see, I'll try to move my recording thing and show the stats, but that's what we played at. So a great game, fun bot. 1575, very respectable in my opinion. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you hung with me and uh, I'll play more games and more puzzles and all that. I need to get back to playing live games if you've been following my channel. I know, I know, I know, I need to get to doing that again. And uh, I don't know, that's my weakness. Um, I do terrible playing live games, and I need to work on that. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.